This is a digital music trends coverage of Medium 2014, an interview with uh, Juliana Mayer, founder of Superpass. DMT's coverage is brought to you by CI, the leading provider of digital delivery services to the independent community on ci-info.com. Hi Juliana, how's it going? Hey, yeah, really great. <laughs> Excellent. So we talked a few months ago, but you have uh, some new developments uh, uh, from the company uh, of late. So uh, tell me all about it. So we launched Beta in July, which was around the time that, that we talked, and um, we've got some really exciting new developments. So next on our list is we're moving to mobile. Yeah. Obviously, that's where everything's happening. Um, and we're also going to be focusing a little bit more on the super streaming side of the platform because that's been really popular. So it's basically a different kind of monetization model yeah. um, where artists are getting paid a little bit better than on other platforms like the Spotify and Deezer model. Yeah. So we're, we're excited about putting that onto mobile. And then um, also we're bringing in a new development um, which involves brand sponsorship for, for artists. So That's great, that's so, awesome. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about maybe a couple of campaigns that have been running over the last six months so that people have a better idea of how the uh, concept that, that we're talking about sort of materialized. Sure, brilliant. So, so yeah, so we've got um, a, a number of different artists now. We've, we've had 12 that we've run for, for, for the live prototype that have been using it with their fans. There's been about a 10% conversion rate for those artists to the paid tier for the fans subscribing. So those fans are paying £1 every month. Well, it's between £1 and £2 each month to the artist. Some are even paying sort of upfront for the whole year. They get a couple of months free that way. Um, and yeah, and the artists have been loving it. They're, they've especially been liking the super stage, which is where they get to do, do a live video chat with their with their fans and the fans can do Q&A or a tour around the studio. Um, one of the really interesting bands that we had actually, they're called Sun Crown, um, and they're a band that are based all over the world. So the singer's in America, the drummer's in the uh, Netherlands, they're, they're in Brazil, they're, they're all over. And they've, they've been loving it because they can finally all hang out together and with their fans all at the same time. And their fans are, of course, all over the world as well. So that's been quite a cool example. Awesome. And looking at the mobile side of things, so how are you approaching it? Um, we we actually want to keep it really, really simple. So so for us, especially because we're still a bootstrapping startup um, and actually we're doing our first investment round at the moment. So um, that's all, also very exciting. Um, so so for us, it's all about the MVP. You know, we've picked out, because Superpass, is, it, there's got a really powerful back end with loads and with, offering loads of different features, but for mobile, we're taking out, right, what is, based on all the data we've been collecting, what's the most important part of the platform? What is it that fans want most in their pocket? Yeah. And we're gonna be doing that first, um, and then rolling that out, then building scale, and then adding in the other features as, as we can. That's fantastic, and so uh, so your, what's your approach in the next few months uh, in terms of uh, recruiting your artists? Um, so, so, so actually, um, at the moment, a lot of the artists are coming to us through word of mouth and, and through our industry contacts. Um, and actually our focus at the moment, especially here at Midem, has been to focus on the brand partnerships um, because we're, we're creating this brand artist marketplace to making it really, really easy for brands and artists to, to, to form endorsement deals together, sponsorship deals, um, without all that big crazy paperwork and negotiations. And, and we're making it really, really simple with our really powerful matching process. So. Um, so that's what's what's next for us, and that's been, really been our focus at the moment. Of course, investment as well. It's um, been our focus to to really take that. We've done a hell of a lot just on on self funding, and now it's really we're looking for investment to take it to that next stage. So um, we're focusing on the artists we've got. We've got 200 artists that are already signed up preparing for that launch, uh, their launches. So our focus hasn't actually been on recruiting more artists at this stage because we've we've definitely got enough to be. Um, you know, to, to, it, yeah. to, exactly, um, and and we've got more artists coming to us all the time, and then I think when we're with the, the artists that we are going out and talking to, we're basically talking to, to bigger artists because the next stage for us is to to launch with one or two really great big artists that will then be the the, the leading case studies to to take everything forward and set That's the right. example. That's awesome. And uh, looking at a medium, of course, this is the last day. So uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh, I'm surprisingly sprightly today. So I don't, I don't know why. Uh, I'm very excited. I think it's going on adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crash and burn. And uh, the, more, the less sleep you get, the more energy you get somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, you know, for you, uh, what was your experience? It's your second time. So you know, uh, you've had the chance to do the crazy thing the first year and just go mm. mad with meetings. And uh, and uh, how did you approach it this year? And how did you find it? It's been really nice being back here for a second year actually so last year we were mid lab finalists and it was an unbelievable experience we met lots of different people and 
um, we, we were kind of firing off on loads of different fronts, whereas this time, because we knew what to expect, we've really been focusing on, right, w what are the key meetings that we, we need to have at this moment in time? And, and we've been really lucky to, to, to get in front of some really amazing people in the industry that they all love what we're doing. Um, some of them want to be involved, which is, is awesome. And we're really looking forward to building those really key strategic partnerships to, to, to take it beyond startup into, into the... The, the big old world and, and our vision is to be the subscription fan club platform in the world that that's where artists go to make their online fan club so that that's the next step really <laughs> that's great and uh, so uh, lots of conversations here I meet them on different subjects uh, uh, lots of talk about Google uh, as you know there was a <laughs> the panel that I did I somehow ended up becoming like a uh, a subject matter for lots of, lots of articles on, on YouTube's revelations on, on the earnings. So what were the conversations that you found the, the most interesting? If you know, I know neither of us got to see actually a lot of panels, but for, for the ones that you did manage to catch. In terms of panels, um, what I found most um, affecting was actually the, the, the brand um, marketing examples. Yeah. So um, actually the one that won the, the, the marketing competition was um, Make It to Muse, which was about the the... Um, patients with dementia um, and Muse did that amazing thing where they got them on stage to, to sing with them and and that I mean I, w I was in tears watching that I, I found it so um, emotional most people they, they, they have personal experience with dementia and I just thought that was such an incredible thing because it's bringing together all the best things about the power of music it's using music to to give across a message it's using music to promote social change and it's using music to to just make people feel something and yeah. that's I mean that for me is why I'm in the music industry because yeah. it's about that passion and so that for me was was definitely the highlight of what I saw that I wasn't aware of before yeah sure and, and we also saw uh, Will I Am talk about the Transform, pro uh, Transform project uh, which is also sort of uh, trying to affect social change so uh, hopefully a few more uh, sort of uh, interesting social projects uh, to the music industry that we maybe maybe we hadn't seen in previous years definitely <laughs> and i think i think it's I, I hope it's a big area for growth because i think it's really really important and with 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 everyone getting less time and more busy and and it's, it's so hard to get people's attention to actually use the power of what what are people paying attention to this is the way to actually use that for something really great and i've heard some some really cool ideas of what people are working on which i'm not sure if i'm Allowed to talk about talk here, about, so I'm yeah. gonna. I won't mention what they are, but if the, if those come to fruition, and, and there's you know top people in the industry working on those, that I just think it will be absolutely incredible, and um, I hope it will really make a difference to the future of society. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Juliana, and uh, uh, it was great talking to you. Excellent. Yes, and, you too. Uh, go and check out uh, superpass.com. Uh, it's uh, s u p a pass.com. Uh, definitely worth uh, having a look. Uh, it could be interesting for you. And uh, uh, thanks so much for listening to the DMT coverage of uh, Medium 2014. You can find out more on digitalmusictrends.com or on youtube.com/digitalmusictrends. Digital Music Trends.